Hello and welcome uh, to week six updates. Um, there's lots going on this week, uh, which is great to discuss, but one, um, I know that I have a very short time to be able to tell you guys everything, and two, um, that also means that I'm quite busy, and so I wanna just focus on our math, weekly math assessment, and then we'll get into some language. So for the fa uh, fake math uh, this week, um, one thing you're going to notice is that um, because we're straight three now, we don't have to differentiate between grade two and grade three. So hopefully that'll provide some clarification on that. Um, and we can kind of focus on just what the grade threes are working on. Um, and you'll also notice that as we're kind of going through, we're going to continue talking about EQAO and preparing for that and, and the tools and strategies we need to be successful in that. Um, not that we weren't doing that before, but just that uh, that's something you'll you'll see us continue to do. Um, I know we have some new students that we're onboarding, so uh, welcome. Um, I know that the the weekly math assessments can be a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I have other videos you're welcome to go through and and take a look for, uh, and they'll explain kind of why we do it and all that. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, some prep for for weekly uh, language assessments as well. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing they're going to do is that they're going to have a number like 543 I think is the one on the the fake one and they have to to use some of the strategies we've been talking about in class to represent or show their number so they could do a place value chart look like this hundreds tens ones so in this case there would be five one two three four five and then there would be four one two three four and one two three ones um, they could also do a number line, they could also use base 10 blocks. Um, we've talked in class that they could use 10 frames, however, you know, that's probably not the best choice because, I, you know, we're going into the hundreds. Um, and so, uh, so there's a multitude of ways, and we actually have been practicing using, we have a, a board in the class that talks about different strategies and, and options for students to use, and we talked about using that um, when they're at a loss for what, what ways they can use. Um, we, we, the next one, um, I put an example in here, and I'm, I, I don't have the, the actual math assessment. I'm not sure I put all those examples in the the real one um, I'll just show you here just in case you're not sure what I'm referring to um, so just here you can see there's an example that's just for to try to help parents along I'm, I'm kind of testing it out seeing if it if it helps or if it doesn't um, but I'm gonna say you know another way of saying 640 for example and that uh, we've talked about how we can put the word tens tens have one zero so we can take out this zero and it becomes 64 tens uh, we could also do it another way and that would look something like uh, I'm gonna use thousands here to make it a little bit more um, and it and and we could replace the word hundreds take out the two zeros and it becomes 32 hundreds um, and so what I would do on this one is I would start start with the tens uh, and that taking away the zero uh, then I would move up, if they've mastered that, then move up with just kind of 100, 200, 500, 800, that kind of thing where they're taking away the two zeros. Then move in where you have a, a number of thousands and then they have to take away the two zeros or the one zeros for 10. And then I would, I, then if they've mastered that, the last step in that one would be to give them something like, um, like this. And this one they can't do because there's an actual value in there. They can only take away zeros. Um, same, you could you could keep this as zero, and you could ask, well, how come um, how come we can't do hundreds? We can't use the hundreds here. Well, we can't use the hundreds because there's a value in this place value here. Uh, third question: um, sum of two numbers. So they're gonna have a number kind of like 84. And the sum of two numbers, sum we talked about is just the answer when we're adding. The, the difference between numbers would be when we're subtracting. And they just have to find two numbers that add up to the number. Um, if it said, it, it says the sum of two numbers, if it said the sum of three numbers, that'd be kind of my next step is finding three numbers that add up to, to 84 or to any, any number. Um, but it can be as simple as like 83 plus one or uh, someone might say 40 plus four uh, 44 um, just finding those two numbers that they're comfortable with that add up to the number they they need um, next we talk about expression versus equation so I'm just gonna put 
one of each on the board. Um, I'm going to use the same example in this time. So in this case, um, an expression just has the kind of question, 4 plus 2. This is an expression. And we talked about labeling somewhat like that. Um, that's a bit blurry on the screen. But just labeling, meaning tell me what you're actually showing me. So there's four points for that question, one for the expression, one for the equation, and one each for telling me which is which and labeling them correctly. Um, I, tr I try to give a decent amount of points per question so that I can, it makes it a little bit easier for me to give out part points. Um, and I'm also trying to stay within a range of the t assessment being out of between 10 and 20 because that's kind of the sweet spot where students do their best for whatever reason. Um, then we go to question five, three types of patterns. So there's, uh, so I don't, I don't use the names there. Uh, I use a clue so I kind of talk about them, but there's the growing pattern, two, four, six, eight. There is a shrinking pattern, eight, six, four, two. And then um, the repeating pattern, eight, six, eight, six, eight, six. It's not really changing, it's just repeating. So those are the types of patterns I'm trying to get them to, to acknowledge. Um, so what I would do is make a pattern and then tell, ask them which one it is or tell them to make a certain pattern and, and they have to make one of those three. Um, the next, again, this is review. They're going to get um, a pattern and they have to show it with counters um, and a number line. So using it with both those tools. So we, we can go over that. We'll keep our pattern here, 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, I would start with a simple one like 2, 4, 6, 8 or 3, 6, 9, 12, something simple and then make it more complex as you go. But essentially, uh, if we're going to use counters, there's two counters, then there's four counters. Oh, sorry, four counters. Then there's six counters. And then there is eight counters. Um, and then a number line. So two, four, six, eight. And I would like to see those jumps plus two, plus two, plus two. Um, students were struggling with the number line in the sense of having those jumps and also recognizing that they actually have to start where the pattern starts, so just watch that. Um, and then we talk about some multiplication tricks. Um, spoiler alert, I don't, I don't change this part of the assessment. It's the exact same because I want them to get that comfortable with the kind of tricks for multiplication. So just add the number twice, it's anything times two. Um, skip count by fives is anything multiplied by fives. Um, just add zero at the end. Um, is anything times 10. So you're not going to see those brackets there. So again, um, there's my question. There's an example of a problem that, that would fit that rule. They're going to tell me, uh, it'll say something like just add the number twice and the answer will be um, anything multiplied by two. Skip count by fives, anything multiplied by five. Um, just add the zero at the end, is anything multiplied by 10. So these are just little tricks to get that numeration up quicker. Uh, and then tell me something you learned about, explain and give an example. So again, there's still a few kiddos that will just tell me I can do patterning. That doesn't prove anything to me. I, wanna, I want them to give me an example of what they're talking about. Um, and again, pick something that they know. Sometimes students will pick something that they have no clue what they're doing. Um, and it does not show me that they know anything. Okay, so when we get to language, we're going to be doing, um, we're getting into the process of UFLY which is a, a program uh, about phonics and, and, and kind of about writing, but more about phonics. And we're going to do a weekly assessment as part of that program. Now, it's a lot of um, parents are used to this um, spelling test. It is not a spelling test. I'm not giving a list of words, and then we'll have those exact words on the test. That is not the key here, because what happens is the students just memorize the words, and they have no better clue of how to spell. Um, what we're trying to do is work through a, a phonetic uh, awareness of how letters work or, or letter sounds work and build that into them every week and then they're going to show me that with the words that are displayed in the weekly assessment. Um, then there's a sentence that they have to write and then I usually get them to write a paragraph as well just so they're practicing that skill and you can see a sample weekly of what they're, how their writing is going so that you're aware of, of kind of how they're doing. So how this works <clears throat> for the practice is that you're going to get a sheet like this. It says roll and read. 
And what I would do is get a dice or even go on Google, they have, they have the kind of dice manipulative. And they can roll the dice and then, um, and then out of the category, they, you pick a word, they have to write that word and spell it correctly. You talk about it, you can scratch it off and then they roll again and they get another word and that kind of thing. And you can kind of do it as bingo, um, try to make it fun. Try, I, I, my grade threes last year, every family did it a little bit differently, but the idea is that you're practicing that spelling pattern that we're talking in class. So this week it's the doubling up of uh, certain letters after the, um, after the vowel there. So after the vowel, that's, uh, no, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget that. But anyways, it's the vowel that doesn't say its name. Um, we double up these particular consonants like S, L, Z, um, uh, F I think is the other one. And so just getting them in the habit of practicing that spelling technique. Um, and then I've also had students who kind of needed more of a challenge. So the family would roll it. They'd have to pick a word and like put this, put the word into a sentence as well. And that, that has helped them as well. Um, and keep it fun. Try to keep it somewhat interesting. Um, so that's our big things uh, for this week. Please make sure that the, the, fake, the fake math assessment, I don't need back unless they have a question. And even then I can pull it up in class and we can go over the questions. Um, but there'll be another one that says it, it will ha not have the word fake. It's the actual one. Those ones I would like signed and returned as well as our weekly uh, language ones that we haven't done yet. So when those come in, I would like them back just so that I can um, have some acknowledgement that you saw their work and then and then there's no questions or comments uh, coming back to me um so if i could have those back signed i'd appreciate it if you need a copy please let me know i'm happy to supply one or um, most people have cell phones now they can just t snap a picture of them um and i know a few students keep them as well for extracurricular reasons uh but then they bring them to me after that's fine as well as long as you let me know so that's it for this week i'm still over 10 minutes i apologize for that um and I'm very lucky I have my colleagues here listening to me this whole time. So I'm very lucky that uh, they let me do that without uh, too much frustration. Have a nice week. Bye for now.